you know, it's very interesting that we've all been here, and so many people in this room have sat through the, those appeals that we had earlier. And if you're anything like me, we went through a lot of different emotional states. But hopefully you share my view, which is that, it, that each one of those cases demonstrates the level of respect, love, care, and concern that we have for companion animals. Um, they matter to us. So we go through a tremendous amount of process if one of them is hurt or injured. My belief is that same level of compassion, concern, and care should extend to all animals. And both these next two initiatives involve uh, animals that aren't necessarily being kept in our shelters. And that's, you know, we're the Department of Animal Services. We're not the Department of Companion Animal Services. And I want to say this to the animal rights community. It really feels like for the first time, at least in my career as an animal rights advocate, that the wind is at our backs. Almost every week, another great initiative is proposed or passes. Uh, you know, I, I've been to City Hall for press conferences like five times in the last two months for incredible initiatives that have been put forth or that have been passed unanimously or almost unanimously by City Council. This is an incredible time to be an animal rights advocate, but I think everyone in this room knows we have only begun. We have just scratched the surface of what needs to happen. But um, Senator uh, Ben Husso, who, who, who introduced this particular initiative, is somebody who is really being brave, stepping forward. The community needs to have his back. I believe this commission should have his back. And certainly we need to care about the fact. I think one of the things that's so upsetting about the practice of using animals for entertainment is that we're literally cheering and applauding and we're teaching children to be delighted by the unbelievable mistreatment of animals. What's happening behind the scenes is so incredibly cruel and unconscionable and yet we're applauding it, paying money for it and celebrating it. So we have to take a look at our own practice, our own practices and decide is that humane? Is that sustainable? What can be done about it? And right now, with the wind at our backs, we are in a position where it really looks like the state legislature is going to take this seriously and pass this initiative and make a difference for these animals. And I am so excited that the commission is hearing this. I look forward to the board report, which will be very short. And, um, and I thank and I look forward to the comments from the public as well.